professionals. Is not it interesting that I got bed right behind me? It's like, I feel like I just rolled uh, out of bed in the morning. And the question is, I know I need to exercise. How do I make that happen? Hi, Julie. Hi, Joanne. And I'm just going to put in the chat a couple of um, comments that I will be referring to. This, by the way, video like this, I also send to my readers. And there is more information for my readers as well. So please be one of my readers if you like. And in fact, this video will be sent on Friday. And I also send a bunch of good deals and specials and invitations. And my Sunday reflection, which those who listen to me live don't get. <laughs> <laughs> but um, please do uh, join my newsletter if you like. But today, this weekend, I decided I'm going to do a little bit different, something different for everyone. I'm actually going to send or give my reflection, which uh, I hope to write down for Sunday as well. And so that's what we're going to talk about, how to squeeze fitness for busy professionals. Give me I in the chat if this is you. I'm just going to say I <laughs> by raising my hand. And also, hi, Alona, if um, functional fitness attracts you, if virtual fitness is convenient for you, let me know. I am going to, I'm giving 50% off our life fitness classes just this weekend uh, by midnight Sunday. And the link is for you here. So it's something I decided I'm going to do uh, this special for my listeners as well. Usually it's for my um, uh, email readers. Okay. Uh, let's jump in. Why am I talking about uh, usually when I teach fitness life, obviously it's a functional fitness to build strength and balance in our body. And here's the trick. When I go work out, I already carved time for the workout. What if I'm not even there yet? What if I'm so busy and sometimes maybe I've been so good, hi Angie, in the workouts, but life got on the way and I stopped and now it's hard to get back into the routine. So please do let me know where you are so I can actually speak to you ladies and gentlemen who are listening. And what I thought would be really good today is to look at options. How do I literally squeeze fitness in my busy day? That's the question I actually get most of the time, not how do I work out, how I safely work out. That's what I used to talk in the past. But okay, let's jump into I have three steps for us. Hi, Linda. I feel these steps are so, so good. Are you ready? So how to squeeze fitness for busy in a busy day, busy professionals. Give me I in the chat if this is you. Please stay till the end. I'm going to give you three steps, and those are actually the steps to go in an order, I hope, I think. Point number one, for people who think they either do all or nothing, let me schedule the workout, and I will be there, and then I will do it, and then and then life gets on the way, and I don't go to the workout. The point number one is tiny. Do tiny so small and tiny that it makes you laugh so small and tiny that you say my gosh no brainer i want us to make an agreement with ourselves that tiny is better than nothing <laughs> that tiny is a great beginning you know small habits create big transformation or what is that small hinges open big doors it's the same concept it's like the snowball i'm going to start really really tiny that i almost don't see it but the more i roll it the more it becomes big and transformational so tiny that it's no brainer it's easy and here's the trick with the tiny because it's no brainer and i do it and this will be our second step I celebrate, I create the feeling of success because I've done the thing. And the feeling of success, guess what it does? This will be our step three. Creates the motivation to keep going and add a little more, add a little more. I should have brought the snowball, snow in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> so small and tiny steps, no brainer, 
that you can definitely do it and create that feeling of success. Step number two. This would actually require for you to look at your calendar, look at your day. I'm going to just go through maybe morning till late um, late morning or early afternoon so we don't spend an hour here. But usually that's where you can really tap into your day already. My goal is for me not to change my calendar because that's big. The tiny means I'm going to look at what I already have and tap into what I already have my tiny habit so for example think about your day i'm going to give you my day and you think about your day and i'm going to start giving you some options what's in my head but you bring your own options okay mine may not be yours it's very very individual the minute i wake up i stretch or let's say when i pull my blanket off I can stretch, hug my knee, hug my other knee, open my arms, lift my arms overhead. When I lift my blanket, I can stretch. So that's that. When I put my feet on the ground, I can stand up and do bend forward, twist, you know, the stretches you're going to do in bed. Can you see how specific I am? I'm not saying I, I can stretch. I actually did two things that I can do. Maybe tiny can be just one. I will bend forward and I lift my arms and just smile in the sky. So then, this is my favorite. Are you ready? For friends and health group. When I go in the bathroom, let's see, after I finish, after I finish the bathroom, I can hold my squat for 10 seconds. I have 10 seconds. After I wash my hands and dry my hands with a towel, I can do one push up on the wall. After I click coffee button go, I can do five chair squats. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm using the habit I'm already doing or the thing I'm already doing and I'm attaching something I need to be doing, but very tiny. So tiny that you're probably thinking, wow, okay, that's almost like nothing. Great, because you know you're going to do it and I know you're going to do it. So, but here's a step number three. In fact, um, I was thinking about prompts. Prompts is something to help me remember because most likely I will forget. I will put maybe something on my um, nightstand table or alarm on my phone or a sticky note just to remind me. But here's the step three is um, after you have that habit, I roll the blanket off, then I will hug two of my knees open my arms, my arms overhead, that's actually three, that's already more than one tiny. Then I will smile in the sky and say, today is going to be a great day. After I press the coffee button, I will do 10 chair squats, then I will clap my hands once and say, great job, Nadia. What I did here, I included the third step is a celebration. It's really important to celebrate so our brain can receive it. Oh, that's a good thing. We start creating near, new neural pathway to encourage our brain to look forward to it again and again and again. Because habit is a habit, whether it's bad or good, it's still the habit loop. So we really want to build in that reward. And it's really crucially important to have first 30 seconds, not then tomorrow, next weekend, or I will give me a massage. <laughs> Duh, that's me. <laughs> right after you complete your tiny habit. So how to squeeze fitness in a busy day. Step number one, think about so tiny that it's no brainer. You can do it and feel success. Step number two, really look at your calendar and think about what are the things that I'm already doing, existing habits. I can attach my tiny habits to 
And step number three, celebrate within 30 seconds right after you finished your new habit. Sure, the magic sentence here to finish up is after existing habit, I will, tiny habit, then celebrate. Okay, so decide for yourself what they are. And please let me know in the comments or if you are listening my blog or an email, let me know as well uh, how this resonates with you. And again, uh, feel free to join us for um, if you are um, listening in the YouTube channel or the group, please join my newsletter. It's in the comments. And if you're already in my newsletter and you're considering to maybe dive deeper, feel free to schedule time with me. And this weekend, Memorial Weekend, I'm giving 50% off live group classes. Live group classes, unlimited access of every class you, you can possibly participate, but you also get membership, the club membership for free, which means all the recording, monthly training that sometimes you hear me promoting, and you also get um, daily accountability chat, you get a book club, and beyond and beyond and beyond. Okay.